Guys, how have you been? I'm sitting out here in the weeds and the lawn, crazy lawn stuff that I should be doing and I'm not. Um, how have you been? I have been doing nothing. Like, no doll stuff. Not really. The adulting has taken over my life. And I'm out here because I'm hiding because, of course, they probably want to eat in five seconds. But I did manage to go to a couple of state sales, so I'm here to show you what I got. Um, and I was working on one thing, and I'll show you that at the end. I'll show you her at the end. But, yeah, it's been, it's been just adulting and just yuck. But two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, it's been a while since I made a video. It was three weeks ago. I went to this one doll sale. My friend said, oh, you got to go. You should go. There's a lot of dolls. And I went there, and these things are, like, priced at, like, four or $500. I'm like, this is not an estate sale for me. What am I doing here? I mean... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not paying four or five hundred dollars for bisque dolls with chips and stuff. I'm. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like no. That's not right. So, I. I went to one this morning at four thirty in the morning. Guess what happened? Now I studied the pictures. I knew exactly where the stuff was in the basement. I could tell it was a basement picture. I get there. I am the first one down there. I am the first one in the basement, and it is not there. No Barbie case, no Barbie cardboard dream house, no Barbies lying around. I'm like, what? Nothing. Gone. So, of course, I go upstairs, and I, I know the guys because, you know, don't you know that, oh, the owner decided not to sell those. I'm like, dude, you should have told me. You could have told me when I was standing outside, and I would have turned around, you know. But they said maybe in a couple weeks they're going to have a good one. We'll see. But I went back instead to that other sale because the sale with the expensive dolls thinking because my friend said to me, you should go. There's more. There's Barbies upstairs. And I'm like, eh. by the time I get there, there ain't going to be nothing left. But I did manage to get a few things. So I'm going to show you what I got in the box. Now, this one is really interesting. It's not a Barbie. <laughs> and I wasn't going to get it because they kind of wanted a little, a little bit more than I wanted to spend on it. But my daughter said to me, no. Mom, you have to get that. I've never seen anything like that. And he's kind of like a pose doll. Like, that's what he feels. And he has a tag on him. It is uh, Fancy Doll Japan. You can see his little, he's got a little sticker. I'm trying not to lose that. that that's going to be hard. But he's like at the beach with his, obviously his kid on his shoulders with the smoke. Dude, and all the uh, hair on him. How cool is he? So I have tried to search this guy and nothing comes up. I don't even know anything about him. I don't, I mean, I've had pose dolls in the past, but not in a long time. But, oh my God. Isn't he fun? I think he's fun. So he definitely came home. The um, little kid on his shoulder has like a like a metal thing. He's like trying to shine the light on his dad's head. How, st how stinking cute is it? I don't know. I thought he was adorable. So if you know anything about him, let me know. <sighs> I don't know, I think it's cool. Um, one of the things, when I was there the week, two weeks prior, all these Biss dolls, I was like, you know what, I just want some human hair wigs. Where are the wigs? But they actually opened up the basement and, like, dug some more stuff out, so there was wigs, which is good because I really wanted some more human hair wigs because I, the one I have on Enola is just, it's kind of gross. Like, I didn't do a good job cleaning it. So we got this one. So I got to get that braid out of there and kind of, yeah, you know, Windex, I think, is the key to these. And they look awful. And, you know, the girls are like, I'm not touching that. But, and this one. And then, what else? What else? Oh, so, of course, they're yelling at me because there was, like, Barbies upstairs. And they started to yell at me. And they're like, no, we know, Ma. You know, that I'm going to strip the, good, the clothing off the dolls I don't want and just get the clothing. They know I'm going to do that because that's the way I am. Sorry. So, all of this needs a good dump in some OxyClean. But, you know, the coat's cute. I thought that was cute. Um, this is probably like Madame Alexander. Oh, it's got that weird... Ugh. I just grabbed what I could. Oh. These are not. These are not. You know, even if they're ripped and I have them at this point, I was like, I could get something because I'm not happy. I'm not dolly happy. Oh, and this little booty, which I bought just for that head, because I think I have to make something with that. So that'll be coming off this booty. That's hysterical. Um, like that really needs. This is cool. It needs some. Definitely needs some OxyClean. It's like 
stuff. I feel like I know this dress. I know that dress. Oh, and then there's another little, another little, like, wiglet. I think that's what that's called. Wiglet. But that might be good for, to use that hair for somebody else. It, this actually feels really nice. That might be good for a BJD. Maybe. Something. I don't know. <sighs> her. That's, can I get this off of you? Probably not. This is Tuesday Taylor's, uh, I don't know who you are. you have anything on you? Oh, getting old. Getting old. Can't see nothing. I don't know who she is. I should have. Not prepared. But anyways, I thought she was cute. Is she like a... Not a dollykin. I don't know. Jointed. Definitely older and jointed with the weird button in the back. I don't know. It looks like it does something. It probably does nothing. I can't read it. Where's the kids? Yeah, it's a dollykin. Dollykin. That's what I that's what I thought she was. She'll clean up really nice, I think. I don't have any of you on my right now. And then these I mean these are really bad condition Barbie clothes. Like really, really shot. Shot to hell. But you know, that clone jacket's cute. Um Oh, and then this little girl was in the basement, this little posed out, and I bought her because it makes me think of something I would make. <laughs> Isn't that funny? With the china doll head. I thought she was hysterical. So I'll probably clean her up a little bit. I don't know how. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, genuine Barbie clothes with stickers on them. This little girl, I don't know how she got in the box. She just decided to come home. She's a hot mess. Mm, a pin that my daughters had to have because he was a pinhead. Get it? They're crazy. Some little. Where'd that go? Oh, some little crafting doodads. They're ripped off the Barbie that this doesn't belong to. And then I managed to find whew, Tootie, who I haven't had in a very long time. So I'm like, oh, great, I'll clean her up. And she doesn't have any green, and her wires aren't sticking out, so she's pretty good. I don't, she's absolutely filthy. She was in the basement. A lot of the stuff was in the basement, like, and everything was in shoe boxes with other stuff, like, you know, I, I don't know, coffee cups and dolls, and it was, it was hoarder's paradise. That's what it was. And there was, um, three Barbies upstairs. There was, uh, Alan, a midge with her hair all chewed up to hell. Um, and like a, like a, maybe a 90s Barbie, I don't know, and a Francie, and I can never resist a Francie, so she came home, and then silly enough, because, this jacket, which is, I, I probably have this, I had to bring this little, um, Tommy wind up home, because, oh my god, I had this when I was a kid, and I love this, I had this one, and the one that was in, like, the walker, which I can never find the one with the walker, and I never buy her, and she was there, so she came in the box. So I'm really, actually, really happy that I got this. Silly as it is. And shell necklace, which I think was very cool and very me. And that's it. So it wasn't, you know, it's it's okay stuff. It's a lot of, like, projecty. I should clean it up and do something with it stuff. Oh, and I also got downstairs, which was, there was boxes of, um, what she must have used for her, like, Bisque and Compo dolls clothing, which, so any, of course, vintage and antique clothing I was trying to grab but it was really dark down there so it was hard to see what I was doing but you know you can never resist like the christening gowns and stuff just even if I make them into other things you know they're just gorgeous things that I have to hide from my husband but this actually is all fitting in the shoebox so I can probably hide this and um yeah this one just, just you know that's all I got to sell but other than that, all I've been doing is making wigs for the, um, the fake povy. <laughs> the, the faux povy. Um, because they're small and... So if you don't like the faux povy, I'll see you later. So I'm going to show her now, just like a, a warning. The replicant here. Um, I have an obsession with that wig. You know that wig. So I decided I was going to make it. And I made her two other wigs this week too. But this is the one actually I really wanted to make. I actually, woo! 
The problem I have with making wigs is I don't don't I don't like using fiber. Like I don't, I don't like using it. So her actual wig is clay. Oh, can I get it off so you can show it? Actually, let me see. Yep, just lie down there. It's actually um warbler with clay over it. What? And everything is just glued on it. The tassels were at Michael's clearance in the jewelry section for two bucks. So I'm thinking I might make some more clay wigs, like short hair wigs, because I don't like, I just don't, I can't deal with the fiber, dude. I can't, I can't, guys, I just can't deal with the fiber and, the, and the trying to get it to stay in one spot. Uh, honestly, the clay stays where I put it. And that is all I have. So, like I said, if anybody knows anything about these dolls, um, I really don't. I'm probably going to take a good picture of them and post them onto Pinterest and see. I think he's funny because he's got smoke. You know? How cool is that? So, anyways, from um, the House of Peculiar Dolls, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, maybe I'll come back. Uh, if I have a good, if I hit a good sale, I'll definitely come back. Otherwise, I really, honestly, I haven't been doing too much. I've been watching a lot of videos. You know what I've been? I've been stuck in the rabbit hole of true crime. I've been, if you, any, dude, I've been stuck with the Summer Wells case for, like, weeks now. And it's highly upsetting, highly disturbing, and worse than any, like, Netflix, you know, documentary that I could be watching. Dude. It's insane. It's like up there was what's Tiger King. It's like nuts. So I've been stuck down there, but I'm clawing myself back out. So, guys, um, hope you have a great week. Yeah, it's probably all keepers this week, too, which is kind of like, oof, you know, when you bring home only keepers and not things to, you know, resell to buy other dolls. That's a problem. So, okay, guys. Mwah, love ya. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week. Bye.